What's up guys, it's your Motivational Gamer and welcome to another video. So today we're going to talk about a particular monster that just came out this morning um, that I was uh, obscenely impressed with. Uh, if you guys have happened to pull this monster, understand that you basically have a OP version of Copper. If all of his skills work as they say they do, you have a gem on your hand. So let's go ahead and talk about this particular unit and tell you guys why. This particular unit is OP as shit. Alright guys, so first skill, Hammer Punch, attacks the enemy two times. Basically, you know, deals damage proportionate to his defense. Uh, each attack has a 25% chance to stun the enemy. Um, and if the enemy is not... Uh, suffering any harmful effects, uh, one additional attack is added. So um, this is not going to be, uh, I mean, it can still be effective on particular units that have defense break, etc. You just won't get the extra attack. Um, so it's still good, especially with the stun. Extra crowd control uh, is pretty good. Um, body press crushes all enemies, decreases their attack bar by 30%, and the damage of the attack increases according to his max HP and defense, which is stupid. Um, and his third skill strikes with every last bit of power left in the body. Uh, this attack will ignore the target's defense, uh, but he will be stunned for one turn after performing this attack. Um, the damage of this attack increases according to his defense. Alright, so now that we talked about his skills, and uh, so you guys got a you know, a gist of what's going on. Let's get into the nitty grit. So, first skill, great. You know, whatever deals damage based on his defense, cool. Second skill, AOE attack, uh, reduces the attack bar of all enemies by 30%, which is insane. Uh, absolutely dope. Uh, think of him as like a Spectra, <laughs> minus the attack speed reduction. Uh, then he deals damage based on his uh, HP and his defense. So, before we get into the third skill, which is stupid OP, we're just going to talk about rune builds and how you guys can really get into building this particular unit. Um, since he has an AoE in skill 2, um, you can build him despair. Uh, you could do like a despair blade uh, or despair focus or something like that uh, in order to maximize his crowd control abilities. But no matter how you build him, how this particular unit is going to be is obviously going to be defense percent in slot 2 crit rate or crit damage in slot 4 and defense percent in slot 6. Uh, the reason why is just because you're going to build them specifically like a copper. Uh, you're going to focus on trying to get his crit rate to 100%. You're going to maximize his defense and his HP, specifically his HP through substats. Um, he is a slow unit, so you could uh, potentially, as your runes get insane, you could pair him with revenge or run him a full revenge set if you want, or you could speed him up and make him fast. It's kind of up to you as to whether you want this unit to operate as a revenger or just a unit that you want to get in the fray and deal as much damage as possible or a combination of both so now when you're building this unit guys um, I personally would build him uh, with violent uh, mainly because I want him to get as many turns as possible the reason why I say violent is when we get into this third skill that's just stupid right ignores defense right and let's say you have defense percent uh, crit damage on slot 4 uh, defense percent on slot 6 and his crit rate is 100% I mean this dude is gonna hit like a truck so let's say he ignores defense you your violent proxy procs out of stun I mean it's just it's just stupid it's just absolutely stupid I quit I wasn't ready I'm just not ready uh, this particular unit is absolutely OP so if you're ever worried about copper or any other units that are weak against fire worry no more uh, this unit literally is a unit that's gonna come in and clear shit out I, I I would not be surprised when paired with a buffer uh, and a defense breaker, let's say like Randy or Shannon or Megan, and then you have a defense breaker like Bella to come in there uh, to have, you know, and see basically bulldozer one-shotting pretty much anything once you get his runes OP. Um, so again, guys, sample rune builds for this guy, despair focus, despair blade. Uh, my personal choice on this would be like a violent revenge. Uh, or a violent blade to maximize his crit rate and make it a little bit easier. Uh, but this particular unit is going to be a haymaker, hence the name Bulldozer. So he will definitely clear it out. So if you guys have been lucky enough to pull this unit, pat yourself on the back. You have an awesome fire damage dealer uh, that could definitely change the game for you. So that's all I had to cover for this particular unit. If you guys got any questions, post in the comment section below. Um, and I'm excited for you guys. I'm praying that I get this unit, guys, uh, so I can do a vid demonstration on this, this unit. Uh, but thank you guys again for tuning in, and we will see you guys next video.